Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Molly with Robert and Molly Bees. Um, today I'm going to be going over how I refinished this mermaid themed desk. Uh, I really hated it at first, but after I got to working on it, I really enjoyed um, how it turned out. I think it turned out really pretty. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, come check us out at robertandmollybees.com. Uh, to take a look at everything I have done and uh, hear about our process. And if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them below, ask any questions. I'll be listing everything that I used in the description. And yeah, I hope you like it. Thanks. So here's how the desk looked to start. And uh, at first I tried to use chemical stripper but it turns out there was about seven layers of paint on it and I was doing a TikTok live and somebody suggested using a heat gun and a scra scraper. So I started doing that. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I would have tackled this project had I known how hard it would be to get all of the paint off of this desk. My suggestion to anybody who is doing uh, furniture refinishing would be either avoid projects like this or be sure to charge extra for your time because this took me three days to get all the paint off and um, get the desk even in a situation where it could be painted and it turns out the desk was being held together in about three different places by all of the paint uh, so here you can see I'm using the sander to get the last of the paint off of the desk you can even see inside the drawers a little bit. This desk was in really rough sh shape. And you'll see later on too, I, I did the best I could to get everything off, but um, I wasn't able to get every last piece of paint off of this desk. And with my obsessive compulsive disorder, that really bothered me, but it is what it is. So I ended up going through quite a bit of sandpaper um, and having to use that mouse sander, I had to use a rotary sander. Here is where my husband has had to repair and put the desk back together. You can see on the other side where the tabletop is, is the board, the plank came out. Um, it, it just took an awful lot of work to get this ready to go, but here it is all finished uh, with the stripping. Here I have sanded and used a Minwax stain on the top in black. I used an all-in-one stain for the first time and I really like how it turned out. I also ended up putting two more coats of polyurethane on the top just to make it extra durable because I knew that this was going to be a working desk. This dried pretty well. I might have done it a little differently. might have used a little bit thinner coats next time uh, if I do this again on a different piece but I think the top turned out really nice for what my client was wanting. I didn't take any pictures painting the piece but I painted the piece with Flam Dixie Bell's Flamingo, Antebellum Blue and then Midnight Sky and I added some raised stenciling. Um, I, I bought a scales stencil on Amazon. This is a transfer from Redesign with Prima. It's just called Mermaid. Uh, this is my first time putting a transfer on a piece of furniture and I learned very quickly that the easiest way to get it to fit a piece of furniture is to score it and cut it while it's on that clear plastic. Uh, the first, the top part I waited until I had the transfer off of the plastic and then I, I cut it and it got a little wobbly around that drawer. So I watched another video on furniture transfers and realized I was doing it wrong. So if you're putting on a transfer, cut the plastic before, like if you're wanting it to fit around a drawer or an edge. The rest of it went on pretty nicely. I think it turned out really pretty. This, this is a picture of it without the bottom part of the transfer. Here I'm putting on copper patina paint by Dixie Bell. And I'm going to, I'm spraying it with blue and green oxidizing spray. Uh, if you're watching close, you might be able to see some of the color change, but the video might be going a little too fast. Uh, I initially was just going to put this on the scales, and then I decided to add it to a few more spots on the desk. And here is the desk all finished. 
I used uh, these scallop hardware drawer pulls that I had bought for a previous project and I used some patina paint on that and then copper gilding wax by Dixie Bell. But I think the whole thing turned out really super pretty. I was really happy with it in the end. And I think I achieved what my client had asked for. He wanted a salmon pink and black mermaid themed desk and told me to do my thing. So this is how it turned out. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, please comment. I'm happy to ask any questions. I will be, again, listing what I've used in the description below. Thanks, guys.